Picture it. You're Moses. You're standing in front of all these people, the Israelites, hundreds and thousands and what probably feels like zillions of people. Your job, and it is no small one, is to give the Israelites their laws, what the Torah tells them to do, how to live as Jews in the world. And see, you can't text it, or tweet it, or blog about it. You can't make a YouTube video of it, though set to music it would be kind of awesome. So, new? What are you left with? How are you going to communicate all these complicated rules and laws and guidelines to the zillions of people before you? Ahem, God taps you on the shoulder. Moses, Emor, speak. Well, you heard what God said. Seems you gotta clear your throat because you have a whole lot of talking to do. Suddenly, though, maybe you're kind of excited. See, it's like the Israelites, they're just forming this new community, this new way of life. And your job right now is to tell them about all the holidays they get to celebrate. Admit it, there's something way cool about that. It may be rules, but it's rules that are more interesting than, say, income taxes for dummies. It's more like, look, here are all the super cool festivals you get to celebrate. Mark your calendars, your year is about to get a whole lot more interesting. For example, you get to tell the people about Passover. For seven days, they'll eat only unleavened bread, aka matzah. For seven days, they'll do no work. No work! Also, we now know, Passover can mean macaroons. But that's kind of cheating, since at the time of this speech, they probably weren't invented yet. Anyway, another one. Sukkot, the festival of huts. For seven days, you will live in a leaf-covered booth. You, once again, must not do any work. And you should rejoice before God, get this, guys, with a bouquet of palm branches, myrtle branches, willow leaves, and a citrus fruit. You shake it around in what almost looks like a dance as a part of celebrating this holiday, this Sukkot. The booths are to remind you, and your kids, and your kids' kids, and your kids' kids' kids, that the Israelites lived in booths when God brought them out of slavery in the land of Egypt. And so on and so on. Moses is given a number of holidays to describe to the Israelites. And picture this, you're Moses and you're talking and the people are actually getting excited about these holidays. Of course, he doesn't get off that easy. The responsibility for reciting an entire code of law to what seems like a bazillion people is a big and serious one, and it's not all fun and holidays. Like, picture you're Moses and you have to stand in front of the people and go over all the laws for the high priests, the Kohanim, in the temple. And there are a lot of them, too. A priest can't come in contact with the dead, he can't marry a divorcee, and he has to keep his hair cut uber short. Or, picture having to tell the people about the capital punishment that is to be applied to a blasphemer, someone who takes God's name in vain. Yikes. Pretty stressful, high-stakes stuff. So, really, Emor may seem like it's just about a whole lot of talking, but it's not lip service. It's about Moses talking about festivals and how they work, about punishment and reward, and about building community. Your zillions of Israelite listeners probably applauded when you were done speaking, because they knew that even though it seemed a bit overwhelming, they had the exciting project of becoming the Jewish people ahead of them, and that's a life adventure you kind of really wouldn't want to miss out on.